Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you the new version of Cloth Dynamics and and in this version it's um, the new thing is that uh, um, well the performance is better of course and also um, we now have a uh, um, multi-collision or everything can collide with everything object system so it's basically very similar to flex um, if you don't know flex i can give you here a quick um, quick preview what i'm i'm trying to do with with um, cloth dynamics basically um, the the same is already possible with cloth dynamics um, for example here layered cloth we also have the same system we with this um, with these um, collision points as you can say and later um, in the new version there will be also um, tiering for example this is also now very simple to implement and also other objects are rigid objects and other objects can be easily implemented on this um, um, word transform system and also um, it's also possible to add fluids later this is also not so complicated anymore so all, all these features um, that are in flex will also come to um, the system later but now um, I'm focusing still on the cloth part and here um, you can see that um, um, we have um, also the, the character animation and um, this works a bit uh, more stable or better than in the old version we also have self collisioning and uh, um, performance is very good um, for for the whole simulation it's running very fast and um, this um, this is also um, I also tried to implant new uh, or the, the old features into the new system so for example the the um, blend shapes are also here implemented and um, we also have the, um, the the surface push system here. So just um, um, here's the surface push and uh, the skin landing, but we can also turn them off. So this would be without um, without the skinning, without the skinning features. As you can see now, when <laughs> jump jumps the frame then it's falling off but um, we can just get them back with the, with the blending or the push and so we still need these features when we jump a uh, frame or when teleport um, but at the moment it's it's faster and more stable than before what I think is very good and as you can see um, can still use this cloth and interact with all these other objects now and um, yeah let's just um, start from the scratch with a new scene here um, have a quick tutorial scene here um, so we just um, we can just go through this and create the necessary objects that we need to run um, the simulation so we need um, we need the, the main solver system so in this case cloth dynamic 2 has a solver global solver and here are all the collision objects and these are the global um, parameters so very um, I think very simple and handy and I think yeah um, what's also good is that it's automatically adding colliders but of course if you don't want it you can use the manual setup and then won't add any um, colliders and we can also here use this mouse grabbing of course and it's already working and um, we also want the, the cloth to work 
So we're now adding the um, cloth object to, to the dress. And um, because this is a skinned uh, mesh render, we also need the GPU skinning and um, the body also needs the GPU skinning. Um, there's, there's an option to transfer the data, um, but sometimes it, uh, it doesn't always work. We can try that later, but sometimes there's there's still some issues with the transformation matrix and I will just leave it like this now because the performance is fine. Okay, um, so, um, yeah, that's basically it. We can turn on the mouse grabber and let's see if it works already. Yeah, looks like it's working. Um, you can just, you can just pause this. So we have now our cloth here already. Oops, now it's gone. Boop. And we have the, um, the collision points, we can debug them. Oh, and we <laughs> also have collision points from the dress. We don't need them. Um, but um, we can, for example, we can now just um, ignore these objects, this object here, so it won't get added. Um, but we can also, what we can also do is just because we need this anyway, is um, a cloth skinning GPU, and that will help us using the, the blending. Uh, sorry, to blend f to the skinning if you want, and we also have the surface push. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And um, let's just have a look. Again. And yeah, so now this is already working, and now this is um, it's not bad, but there's still some minor issues when the when there's fast movements. So in that case, we should um, also add these um, SDFs and uh, the simple or the primitive colliders. You can call them so. And we need the uh, automatic bone spheres here um, and in this case we don't want the dress only the body and then we get these um, spheres automatically generated for the um, spine we need I think two parts and um, this already looks quite good and um, we have here these ignore lists so we if we for example um, remove the, the foot here we will also and update this we will also get the, the these here um, and yeah so we um, we don't want the spheres because there are a lot of spheres now and it's better for the performance to just use the um, round cones and then we can just um, create them and add them to the um, system here and now they are automatically added here in this list and um, yes you can now see if this works <coughs> and this should now work better with um, the collision and um, yeah, if we use the world transform stuff, the dress will get placed as a, um, as a without a parent, so we can um, interact in the world. This is fully blended now, and this is without. Um, we can also now, um, for example, go in there and um, just. We don't need this anymore because now we already transformed and um, transferred the um, automatic bonus spheres here, so they all get animated. So we need, don't need this here anymore. Um, but we want to paint the cloth. Um, we can 
you see the cloth painting system and normally it's good when we paint these parts here and then we can also blur this so I think that's that's fine and um, yeah so now um, <coughs> when we um, run this and we set the blending here to one we'll just blend this blurred part to one and the rest will be um, I'm still dynamic and here we can also for example use a higher value if the offset is higher then the cloth is more dynamic also this um, I just try this one So um, that's for for the for this part and um, yeah, I think we have most of the parts covered. And we can also, for example, generate uh, a new cloth here. Move this up, maybe um, different um, different color. Red or blue, and um, <coughs> then um, yeah, we can both uh, play around with these here. And what we also can do is we can, for example, when we create a new cube here. It's smaller. Um, we can just um, add this cube as a constraint or attachment. The cloth gets attached to the, or the, the closest point on the cloth gets attached here. And then we can, you can see, move this around. The cloth is still um, colliding also with this collider. So we don't want that. Um, we can just um, put this one to the more list. <coughs> and um, now we have our, our cloth here moving around. <laughs> That's basically it. And um, yeah, one last thing maybe we could um, try to animate this character as a, as a normal um, game character and um, yeah, already run some tests. There are some, at the moment there's still some issues with different um, assets, but we can just try this one here. This is the um, Character control controller creator. Uh, was it ultimate character controller? Yeah, that's the name. Um, and yeah, mm, we actually don't need this stuff. We just want to um, run around. And we also I think we also have to set to the local space here, so the cloth will be animated in local space. Let's see what happening. Ah, there's already a still a collider. <coughs> here then this collider. We also have to ignore this collider. So we put this to ignore list. Um, 
the cloth was connected uh, with uh, my um, casa. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, currently, this only works with the local system here, and this local space system is still a work in progress. So, in the world space, I think there might be some issues, some delay issues. Um, yeah, as you can see here, there's uh, some offset here in the animation. Still need to figure that out, but um, all in all, it's working very good. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, there will be some new updates, of course, of my other tools and systems soon. And um, yeah, um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.